guess where I am? <laughs> I am back at Disney for the Wine and Food Fest. It's been a year since the Wine and Food Fest. It actually started in July, but I was blocked out with my pass. But the first booth here is Earth Eats and they have the Impossible Meatballs. I will turn the camera around and show you and then I will taste test it. All right, I hear it might be spicy, but I'll let you know because you know I don't like spice. <laughs> It's pretty good. I think it might be the sauce that they put on top and the bite I just took. Oh wait, it's hitting me now. It has a little bit of heat, but not too bad. So far, so good. So we're in Germany right now and something very interesting is happening. A lady came up and told us that they can't serve any of the beer that's on tap because of the lightning. There's some storms going on. And we also just noticed that there's nobody sitting there taking money for any of the orders, but they're still handing food out we're wondering if they're just handing food out. So we're about to find out. They are taking money. They're just not outside, they're now inside. <laughs> So when you go around the world, or when you're here for food and wine, they actually have this section in the back of the book where you get stamps for uh, different cheeses, uh, cheese dishes, and then at the end you get some kind of prize. I won't be doing them all today. I'll probably split them between today and another day. I'm thinking maybe October if I come back. But the interesting thing is that the wine that I picked, I looked it up, it's called Vetliner, and it says that it has notes of crushed rocks and green beans. I'll post the what I found online here. I don't know, that sounds really weird. So let's taste, how would you even know what a rock tasted like? I don't go around licking rocks. <laughs> let's try it. It's good. Let's see how it pairs with the cheese. Mmm, so good. You have three choices on that menu. And I picked the one with the figs and the pears. Mwah, it's very good. I would also like a limoncello, please. So if you've ever been to Italy, you know that limoncello is the bomb diggity. Now normally they're out. We just learned that three hours ago they got a shipment, so we're the lucky ones that to get to have some limoncello today. Oh my gosh, it is so good. If you've never had it, you must try. It's pretty much the only beer that I'll drink outside of a Corona once in a while with lime. This is a Shandy, which is a light Harper beer with 7-Up, and it is so refreshing when it's this hot out. Oh yeah, that's good. This is in England. Come to Canada. There's tables available, and it's in the air conditioning, uh, and the tables are made out of beer uh, barrels, and it's very nice down here. So here in Canada, instead of the movie, this is where the apple seed orchard is. I'm still drinking my shandy, so I will not be stopping here. But when I come back to the festival, probably in October, I will come here and I will get my flight of cider. All right, we're moving on. Okay, coming to you with a tip. You're at Test Track. It's my brother and I, and we are in the single rider line. We have moved up so quickly to the front of the line because we're seat fillers. So if there's like a party of three or five, they're going to need another person so that's where the single riders come in. So if you're okay not sitting next to your beloved or your friend, but you want to enjoy the ride, they could be in the car in front of you, they could be in the car back of you. You'll get on the line a lot faster. These people who are standing next to us in this other line have paid to be on that line with the lightning pass. You don't need a lightning pass, get on the single rider line. 
just like that. I'm about ready to go on. It took me maybe five minutes. I wasn't super hungry, so I decided to get a kid's meal. And so it comes with a slice of pizza. There's a couple of different options. They had like fried chicken. Um, and it comes with one slice. It's okay, it's like frozen pizza. I will say though, the coleslaw is handmade and it's quite tasty. I think after this, we're gonna head to the front of the park and do the giant wall, Spaceship Earth, and then probably head out. And on that note, my day here at the Food and Wine Festival here at Epcot has come to an end. It was a really fun day. There are still a lot of booths that haven't even opened yet. They're supposed to open in a couple of weeks. I will be back at Disney again in August, but I will be doing majority of my time at the Magic Kingdom going to the Diamond Horseshoe Review restaurant, which I have not been to since the 70s. And back in the day, they actually used to do a show with Can Can Dancers. They don't do the show anymore. but. We will be having dinner there and I'll be coming back and maybe checking out some of the booths to see if they have opened yet. So thank you for tuning in to the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on my next adventure.